Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday, July 10th. <laughs> and this is the second episode of Deck the Halls. It's a collab I'm participating in with Terry from Your Enjoy Podcast and Kim, the Crafty Nomad. And a bunch of other people have since joined. <laughs> but those are like the two originals. Um, where we're sharing ornaments every Monday in July. Uh, to give you some inspiration to make some ornaments ahead of time for the holidays. So my pattern this week is a free one. <laughs> All my patterns are going to be free ones because I, I like free patterns. <laughs> and I got it from the designer's name. Or the, the website is called Blog a la Carte. <laughs> and uh, it's called the Ice Skate Ornament. So it's ice skates <laughs> so here's my first pair <laughs> they have little um paper clip blades i've been wanting to make some of these type of ornaments for a long time i've seen them for years and every year i do make ornaments for my family and i think these are the ones i'm gonna give to my family this year so i just used some red heart blue and white that i had uh, like floppy skeins of and it's really simple these are the jumbo size uh paper clips not the regular little ones uh, and I got them at Walmart, I think. A big old box of them. I only had white. Well, I have like red and green, but I thought white would look better. I didn't have any of these like regular metal color ones. But you use an H hook. And you just crochet right onto the paper clip. Do just a couple of rows and then you switch. And then you chain up and there you go. <laughs> I, I tied it with a bow. I thought it'd be cute. It kind of looks messy though. <laughs> but I did make three of them. And I made them this morning. Because I procrastinated. <laughs> but I have three little pairs here sets and i just think they're so cute they're really quick i mean i made all three of these in less than like 30 minutes it was super quick and easy i just popped them right out <laughs> i picked blue and white because I, I a lot of the ornaments i've made in the past for my family have been like reds and greens so i thought this year i'd do a different color <laughs> so I, I thought blue and white was pretty but i got three sets here and they're cute i do need to make one more set but um i just think they're cute <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I highly recommend this. I'll leave it links below. The website doesn't have pictures on it anymore. I think, you know, it's probably an older website. Um, and they quit hosting their own pictures, you know. But the written instructions are still there, and it's super quick. It's like, what's there? One, two, three, four. It's five rows, and then you just make the chainy thing. <laughs> I did do the chain different than them. I chained up on one and chained up on the other, and then I just tied them together. <laughs> um... But, yeah, I think they're cute. So I'll leave that pattern links below. Check out Terry's and Kim's videos. And there's a bunch of other people, too. There's a playlist Kim made. So I'll link it down below. And also remember that I'm hosting a giveaway for everybody who participates in my um, section of Deck the Halls and Christmas Extravaganza. Both over on my Facebook group. You have to enter photos that way or you can send them to me via email, which is always in the description. So the Deck the Halls is ornaments. Two people will win from that, and two people will win from the Christmas Extravaganza, which is gifts. So there's four winners total. Um, so if you want to enter that, check out the Facebook group or email me. And uh, you can enter in your ornaments from the Deck the Halls. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because the baby is napping, and she's probably about to wake up. That's why I'm being quiet. <laughs> and i got to get this video edited. It's late in the day. We had some apartment drama <laughs> earlier. Um... Yesterday, our water heater breaker tripped, and we didn't know why. So we turned it back on, and everything was fine. And then earlier today, the baby was asleep for her earlier nap. And Jesse was in the bedroom in here watching TV. And I was just sitting there being quiet, you know. And I heard dripping. And I was like, what is that? So I followed the dripping. And it was to the closet that has the water heater in it and the air conditioner unit. And the dripping was coming from the ceiling. So it was coming from the apartment above us. Uh, it turns out it was her air conditioner unit the drain pipe or whatever was clogged but it was leaking in her floor which went down into our ceiling and was dripping onto our water heater so that's what made it trip yesterday and it had tripped again today i didn't notice it because i hadn't used any hot water today <laughs> um didn't wash in like bottles or anything up until that point you know that was earlier today but um yeah so i had to call maintenance they went up there first to see where the leak was coming from they fixed her leak got her set and they come down here and they cleaned up our area, shop vac cleaned off, cleaned out the water heater because water had gotten into a part where it's not supposed to be. <laughs> and it's, it's got a fan in there now, drying everything up. And um, 
I, after they left, they told me I could turn the breaker back on whenever I wanted to. And if anything was wrong with it, it would trip again, you know. So after a few hours, I turned the breaker back on and it tripped again. I was like, oh no. So I was like, well, maybe it didn't dry out good enough. So I waited a little bit longer and I, I tripped, I turned it back on and it's still, it has been good since. So I think it's, um, doing better. <laughs> I still have the fan on though. I'm leaving it on probably overnight because of the drywall. I want to make sure all that gets dried up so that there's no like mold or mildew or anything. Um, coming out of that because that would be gross. But it was just stressful. I, that's one thing I haven't living in an apartment. The only good thing is we don't have to pay for anything. <laughs> you know, if it was our home, we would have had to pay people to come fix it. But since it's an apartment, other people deal with that, you know. But that took up a lot of today. <laughs> and uh, June's been a little bit grumpy today. She's getting four teeth, though. I can see two over here and two over here right under the gum. So I'm imagining that's why she's so grumpy. Devin's at his dad's again. I don't remember if I mentioned this in a video, but he had to change the brakes in the truck yesterday. And after doing that, there was a piece on something <laughs> that broke. So they he couldn't finish the truck today. I mean, last night because it's not time. So his dad took him to work today and picked him up. And then they went to get the piece and now they're over there fixing it. So it just is with him. So the baby's sleeping. I'm going to go watch a little bit of videos or something. <laughs> Crochet maybe until she wakes up or they come back or whichever but anyways i'll leave this pattern links below and like i said if you want to enter the giveaways go over there there's two photos that you enter under they're both labeled so you can you know which one you're entering and you can double dip if you want i don't mind like if i were entering it this would be both because it is an ornament but it's also going to be a gift so it could go under both <laughs> but i'm not entering it it's my own giveaway anyways i'm gonna hop off here and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye guys